watermelon for dessert. Today, I slept most of the morning feeling like crap. I just want to cry. You know, like when a kid wants their mommy and they cry. That's the way I've been. This has all been two months and I can't get rid of this. And I couldn't even talk this morning. Whatever, the post-nasal nasal drip or whatever, it affects your vocal cords. And I'm squeaking. And I got a notification that there's a voiceover job and there's a hardware store job. And they're looking for people my age. It's not too far, about an hour drive away. And I thought, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it because I can't even talk. Who knows if I'll be able to talk by uh, in 10 days because that's when they're going to film it. No, I can't talk. If I try to make a doctor appointment, it'll be like sometime in December or January. If I go to urgent care, it's $160 to be seen. I looked it up. It's not 40 It's 160 So, three months ago, when I had my medicine tweaked a little bit, they made an appointment for this coming Thursday. <clears throat> so this coming Thursday, I have a doctor appointment in the morning to see if my blood pressure is the same or not. Well, it's not going to be. It's going to be elevated because things like illness can elevate your blood pressure. And this is two months that um, that veterinary and amoxicillin I got did knock it, a lot of it out, but it is not going away. And the goo is still yellow. And I can't talk and I can't sleep and I cough. I just bought another bag of cough drops. <clears throat> Either that or... <clears throat> like I sound like a car trying to start. Bad. Could not cool at all. I only needed a few things. My I have three different digital thermometers. How I have three, I don't know. Two of them, the batteries are dead. One, they're still working. But I think I'm going to look to see if they have the regular old-fashioned kind, the glass kind that you shake down and you put in your mouth and wait for five minutes or something. I don't know if they even sell those anymore. They don't at the store, the drugstore, or anything. They don't sell those anymore. Maybe people are too stupid and they're getting mercury poison by chewing on them or something. I don't know. But I'm going to look online to see if they have that. And also little battery replacements for the other digital ones because they don't have those in the stores around here either. It says they must be purchased online. I'm like, really? What if you're just an old person, an old-fashioned person that doesn't do all that stuff online? You're just sunk. I guess you have a glass thermometer at home. Hmm. But, I mean, you know, <clears throat> supply chain or this or that or the grid going out, people have to know how to I mean, you can't just, it's not like making fudge where you drop a bit of the fudge in cold water and it makes a soft ball or a hard ball. You can't, there's no way to healthily do something like that to tell. Obviously, you can tell I'm congested and by the color of your gnu <laughs> and that and all that, not cool. Well, I went to Wally World, Walmart. And I got just a few things that I needed. I got a calendar for next year that I will mark up with the birthdays and anniversaries and stuff while I have while I'm sitting around. Uh I got a package today. I ordered some cologne that my ex used to like to wear a lot. It's expensive. It comes from I'm not sure where it comes from. Germany or the Netherlands or something. It's called 4711. It's a fruity, fruity scent. And it's been so long since I've smelled it, I don't remember what it was. I wonder if it's a lot like this stuff, the uh, no-name blue, light blue that I get from Walgreens. Uh, Wal yeah, Walgreens. They have a knockoff of uh, Dolce & Gabbana's light blue. And I like it. It smells good. It's the my scent. I'm claiming it for me. Um, and... Uh, I don't know if 4711 smells like that or not. I probably won't know for a few days or maybe a week until this all gets cleared up. I can still taste things. I took over some watermelon next door and I didn't realize that um, her sister and brother were over there. And she had made pumpkin tomato soup and like grilled cheese sandwiches. So Spencer ate two bowls of soup 
and half his sandwich. He gave me the other half. And it was, all right, Yorun. Um, it's pronounced Hola. But we call it go, go, Gouda cheese. But that's in the Netherlands. It's pronounced differently. Was that cheese with a piece of bacon and fried in a, in a like a sandwich making thing that crushes it kind of like a waffle iron like thing. But really, really good. <clears throat> I take in the, I bought a tray of watermelon and I took half of it over there because by the time I get around to eating it, it's, you know, I won't get to eating the whole thing before it's bad. So I took some over there. And I was playing on the floor with Spencer while they were talking and keeping Spencer occupied and had a good time. And I'm laying on the floor and he gets up and starts dancing around on my stomach. <laughs> and Thursday, the doctor will lift my shirt for the stethoscope and he'll go, where did all those bruises come from? <laughs> from a dancing baby, <laughs> toddler, dancing toddler. <clears throat> and we were kidding and suggesting more goofy names to name this baby and we're thinking well what sounds really Jewish we're not Jewish but what sounds I said Morty <laughs> Melvin Shlomo or I said you could name him Stuart and he'd be Stuart Stuart <laughs> Stuart Stuart I've been thinking that's, that's uh, Ruben Ruben that's another name I don't know. Anyway, uh, what else did I get? I got some Klondike bars. Dark chocolate. Ooh, they're like little ice cream squares covered in dark chocolate. I got some pancake mix. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, I got some broccoli and some chicken. Gonna make another broccoli casserole. Maybe I'll make it tomorrow because Brian, that's just one of his favorite things. Tomorrow he's gonna mow the grass. And he wants to put up his inflatables, but there's a wind warning around here, and those things will fly away or rip because of the strong wind. So <clears throat> he just can't put all that stuff up. Besides, it's only a couple of days to Halloween, you know? It's a lot of work. I don't think he should try putting the giant one up at all. The small one, the little car, and the six foot tall marshmallow man, I think would be fine. He could put those, I don't know where he wants to put them in the back. I don't know. But uh, he could put those up on the patio even and enjoy them himself. He wants to put them back by the fence so people driving by can see them. But the thing is, the wind comes up from there. So, I don't know. I have a can of pumpkin. I can make pumpkin bread. I'm going to make a uh, coffee cake, I think, first. That'll be tomorrow. And the chicken broccoli casserole thing with the Ritz crackers. Those two things I'm making tomorrow. And maybe some other things. I don't know. I just have not felt like doing anything. I mean anything. And this place was a mess. I mean, it's a little nicer looking now, but listen to me. <clears throat> I can hardly talk. And then I get a sore throat like. And the glands swell up and all that other good stuff. No, I did not order any more amoxicillin. I'm going to wait till Thursday and see what that doctor says, if anything. I was like, give me the strongest crap you can to knock this out. It's been two months. I've had it. You know, I like to sing. I like to talk. And possibility of getting a commercial job or something. I have to be able to talk. Hey, look who's here. You want to say hi to your friends? Say hi to your friends, huh? Hey, you got, you got anything good here, Mom? I just fed you something good, buddy. Okay. <clears throat> oh, my gosh, over 10 minutes. Well, I'm going to let you go. Maybe I'll film the inflation of the thingies tomorrow and uh, get myself together. I still have laundry to put away. It was hanging up drying, and I just never put it away because I didn't feel like it. I was sleeping. You gonna say hi? Okay. Upward and onward. <laughs>